So on to our fourth match of the evening. Oli Geddes from the United Kingdom representing the Roger Gracie team. He's 30 years old, taking on AJ Agazam from the US. This is definitely the matchup I'm most looking forward to. Classic style versus style matchup. Oli is a much uh, more complex bottom fighter and AJ is a, a pressure top fighter. It'll be an interesting matchup for sure. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, these guys have fought four times before in various competitions. Agazam coming out on top in all of those encounters, but always by points. Never able to get that submission. That's it. And most of those points coming by takedowns. AJ got a strong collegiate wrestling background, but as we say, those points are not going to count today. Oli Geddes, mostly well known for his half guard game. He's going to go searching for that here, I, thi I feel. He's looking for the shin to shin guard. That's his current favorite position from the bottom. So he's going to try to bind on one of AJ's legs. I like the way AJ's bugging Oli's head there. I like to see that kind of stuff, and it will distract your opponent and maybe even frustrate them. Those, those in the UK know that Oli is one of the most technical black belts in the world. He's literally broken down jiu-jitsu into its smallest parts. Very, very sophisticated jiu-jitsu fighter. Whereas oh, and immediately looking for the Kimura is Aga's arm. Rolling with it. Nice escape by Oli. Has to shake his arm out now. Just Anxious moments here. He's going to have to defend this arm bar. Aga's arm, much more physically imposing fighter than Oli. He's always going to make it difficult for Oli. Very aggressive early on here. Be interesting to see if, uh, knowing he has four prior wins on points, he really wanted to go for the submission. But Geddy's going to have to hold on and get on his bike quickly if his grip breaks here. He's got both legs on, on the opposite side of the head, so it's not the strongest unlock position. There is still a chance Oli can escape, although it is still very threatening. But his head is free. That's what it's allowing him to escape at the moment. Let's see if he rolls him over again. Looking to go belly down and... Excellent, excellent technical escape by Oli. Fantastic jujitsu. And straight after Agazar Miguel and off the takedown immediately. He gives Oli the chin to shin guard with the setup for the deep half. Yeah, deep half now for Geddes. The crowd not too appreciative of, of the tactics of Agazar. It'll be interesting to see what he makes of that in the post fight interview. Yeah, I think AJ playing up to the bad guy role there, grinning at the crowd, knowing what he's done. But straight away, going after the arm again of Oli. Again, with that Kimura trap, such a strong grip. If you can lock it up. They say with a good Kimura grip, you can rule the world. Very difficult when a guy knows what he's doing, puts it on you. Difficult to escape, difficult to even move. See if he looks to roll Oli again here. Opportunity to take his back as well. And AJ's also trying to look on a, a triangle. A lot of options for him. Oli really up against it early fighting just to survive here only three minutes gone so far in this bout Agazam with the triangle here he's got it fully locked slightly odd angle but tight looking triangle well he is the 2014 world no gi champion and he's defending well AJ really putting a squeeze on, committing to this tr triangle, trying to get the finish. Oh, Let's see if he manages to get it. If he doesn't, it, he's going to burn his legs out. Well, looking to isolate the other arm. Geddes using his left arm under his own leg to try and create some space from his shoulder to his neck. And some more gamesmanship from AJ here, just slowly taking his mouthpiece out, examining it and putting it back in. Feeling very confident as we enter the fourth minute of this bout. Yeah, just goes to show how relaxed he's feeling right now, completely in control. Oli did a phenomenally to defend that attack. Triangle looked sunk pretty deep. But he maintained his composure. Let's see if he can get himself out of this bind he's in now. You never underestimate a fighter like Geddes. He's such an unorthodox game. He can tap you from the bottom of side mount using his patented squirrel lock. We've also, of course, seen that very strange, almost inverted knee bar, the dog bar that he looks for. But it may be something tricky that he will need in this one because AJ Anger's arm is really having his way in the opening stanza here. Ollie's out of immediate danger because he has both of his arms underneath Agazam's leg. 
See if he can capitalize on this little exchange. Now this is Ali's strong point back to the seat of guard. And our referee Nick Brooks is going to reset us in the middle of the mat. The longer the fight goes on, the better for Ali. As AJ is a power and explosion based fighter, which means he will tire more than Ali. Ali's game is built purely of technique. So it's not a very attribute based fighter. Well, and he's let get his established half guard. He's looking for that knee bar here. You can see him just trying to extend the hips. If he can clasp his hands together, it gives him a little bit more leverage. This is one of Ali's, as you said, most powerful techniques, the dog bar. It really is a very tricky leg lock. I know Dean Lister has something very similar in his arsenal he likes. Agazan starting to breathe a little bit harder. Speaking to Oli at the weigh-ins yesterday, he feels his best chance of victory is choke. He just cannot see AJ cap into anything else, but here he's going for that straight ankle lock. One of Oli's favorite submissions. Well, rolling for position. Agazan, Agazan looking for the toe hold, and if he connects his hands, well, good scramble again from Geddes. Scramble. Very exciting fight. You can hear the crowd responding to that action. Best fight of the night so far. AJ's got such a swagger about him, guys, don't you think? Yeah, very confident. Very assured in what he wants to do. Six minutes gone now. Oli Geddes in the black, taking on AJ. Aga's arm in the red. He's literally like breathing for Oli to be in this position. He spent probably 80% of his jiu-jitsu career here. Again, looking for this half guard position. He can clasp he his hands together. AJ using good head control. Oli wants to put his head in that pocket up against his hip. Good head control again from Ragazam. AJ just popping the knee up. Looking to ride it on the chest here. He's Ollie with the underhook looking, he will probably try to transition to the shin to shin guard or re attack with the dog bar again. Good manipulation of the head by AJ, and I'm sure that's left over from his wrestling days. Break the guy's posture down and really take away a lot of his power. AJ hunting for that hammerlock again. Oh, and Geddes. Well, coming for the top position after Azagam sat to his hip. Approaching the halfway mark in this match. By taking his gum shield out and putting it behind his ear. Well, that is certainly some gamesmanship. I'm quite surprised the referee hasn't really called him for it yet. But we're seeing what the uh, defensive guard of Agazam is like for the first time here in this match. Yeah, much more top fighter than a bottom fighter. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do from the bottom. Well, again, perhaps looking for that Kimura. See him posting on that left wrist, trying to f get the right over the top. Ali keeping his elbow tight to prevent that. Really trying to Agazam really trying to peel it out now. As you said, expect him to really use the raw power if he gets that grip to try and roll the position. But back to the feet. Very interesting to see them both out of their respective depths. Ali's much more of a bottom fighter, AJ more of a top fighter, and the roles are reversed. Ali's staying low, which is interesting as Agazam is <laughs> the wrestler. Agazam giving him the single leg. Just complete contempt for the takedown wow. ability of Ali Geddes. Can't roll past there, in straight into half guard. Yeah, Ground looking pleaser. in a very tight top position here. Yeah, good shoulder pressure there. That's the worst thing to have happen when you're on the bottom fighting in half guard is for a guy to get his arm under your head and establish what we call the shoulder of justice. It's very difficult to move from there. Again, Ali is super comfortable here. He's going to have to protect his neck. AJ threatening the choke. And looking to pull that ankle through. Now going back and gripping his hands, and he's got a sweet positions from here. Keeps attacking with that same technique. Head control is presenting a problem from that's 
borderline illegal move, hand on the face. <laughs> well, I don't think there'll be any love lost between these two after this one. Interesting roll from Agazam here. I can't quite see the grip he's got. Going after that arm again. AJ's got a successful amateur MMA record and aspirations one day to make it all the way to the UFC. He said that was his original motivation for starting BJJ. Well, deep half guard for Geddes now looking to get his legs into action, but it's into the Kimura grip and again looking for the armbar perhaps is AJ Azagam. Well, he's locked up holding his own bicep to defend. This is the classic defense. Agazam's had one bite of the cherry already, sneaking through perhaps for the triangle again. Trying to be as diverse as possible in his attacks. Last four minutes here. I think it's probably fair to say AJ Agazam having the better of this match overall at the moment. But of course it doesn't really count for anything if the submission doesn't come. And he's in prime position here. Definitely the more athletic of the two athletes and we all know it plays such a huge role in, in combat sports but Oli using his incredible depth of technical knowledge to <coughs> help get him out of some tight spots and attack with submissions of his own fantastic match so far AJ taking a few deep breaths in I've got a feeling he's going to try and just explode and power the arm out to finish it <laughs> trying some cheeky manipulation techniques here distraction Again, Geddes going to the leg to try and help support his grip. And oh, and he taps with the feet. I think that was a bicep crush from AJ Agazam. Couldn't quite see the grip, but nevertheless, he gets the job done in 11 and a half minutes here. Looks like it was indeed a bicep crush. Ali was shaking out his uh, hand afterwards. That's usually a sign of a bicep attack. I've got a feeling we're going to see these two fight again, Nick. I mean, Ollie's not going to be too happy with that showing. He's going to want another shot. I personally think Ali fought fantastically. You gotta remember he's seven years older and definitely not as athletic as Agazam and he still gave him one hell of a match. Fantastic match by both competitors. Yeah, love him or hate him. I'm sure we're gonna see AJ here again one day. He's an entertaining fighter and we saw a great arsenal of attacks there. Let's go to Josh Palmer to speak with the winner, AJ Agazam. I'm here with our winner, AJ Agazam. AJ, very aggressive from the start there. Was that the plan? Everybody kind of knows that's always my plan. I've got to ask, was there some gamesmanship going on there? You took your mouthpiece out a couple of times, put it behind your ear, you, you sort of motioned for a hug and then fainted for a takedown, trying to play a, you know, a bit of a, the bad guy here. Ali's actually been many times we've trained together, competed against each other many times. So I was really excited to have this matchup because I think different than a tournament, it's an opportunity to show the fans. It's an opportunity for all of you guys. And that's always something I really look forward to, whether it's win or lose. One thing that I always look forward to is putting on a show for you guys, especially in Europe. I think you guys are the most passionate fans out there. So it's great to be here. AJ, if, if I can just ask you about the finish wasn't too clear for us in the commentary booth. It looked like a bicep slice, so just talk us through the, the finishing move there. If you want to see that technique, it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, AJ Agazam. I'm here with Oli Geddes. Oli, this is the fifth time you've faced AJ. How did that affect, oh, well, they haven't gone your way in the past. How did that affect you coming into this one? I just kind of, I put, I put the other ones out of my mind. Um, I was just trying to, Try and do the same thing, but better. But uh, it didn't get off to the best start. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, managed to work my way out of that, but just never really got back into it. So it you train and compete all over the world very regularly. How's this experience been for you? So um, it's, it's been great. I mean, it's been an opportunity to be a part of something as large as this and to feel 
you know, there's all these supporters out here. I mean, I spend a lot of time competing in other countries, and usually it's me and like two or three guys from the academy I'm training at. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you, it's appreciated. Sorry I couldn't do better. Ladies and gentlemen, Oli, get it. How great is jujitsu? Earlier today, him and I were walking around the castle in Cardiff together. So I think it's really cool, you know. I think the jujitsu is awesome. He's traveling the world doing his thing, and so am I, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Agazom and Oliver Geddes. warm-up in jiu-jitsu used in most academies is a little bit like, past its time, you know. I think that, you know, the, the, the way that it's usually done where they run around the mats, you know, it's, it's completely, how can I say, unproductive. If you ask Usain Bolt if he, if he rolls around and practice uh, chokes before running laps, you know, he doesn't. And that's for a reason, because he's not going to choke people in his sport. So why are we going to run if we're not going to run when we're doing jiu-jitsu? We do specific jiu-jitsu movements, because that's what we're going to do in a fight. For example, now we're doing close guard. The guy on bottom needs to sweep or submit his opponent, while the guy on top wants to open guard and possibly pass the guard. Especially for the guy on top. 